reviewing Detroit, America's Great Comeback City, vlog number 38 from Travels with Lobo. Of all the tourist attractions in the Detroit area, the Heidelberg Project is perhaps the most unusual. If you look at these city blocks, you can see a few gray outlines of houses. The rest is empty. Here's an aerial view of the area where the Heidelberg Project is located. And once again, you'll notice it's mostly grass in eastern Detroit. Here I'm standing at street level at the corner of Heidelberg and Ellery. That's Heidelberg right there. And um, if you notice, uh, there's really not too much around. It's a house there, street, no houses, just lots of open lots, what they call almost prairies. And there, one more time, is Heidelberg Street, right down there. That's what the fuss is all about. I've only seen snippets of The Walking Dead. Uh, I say snippets, and this kind of reminds me of what I saw there. This is desolation. This is, this is out of this world. And yet it's right in East Detroit in the McDougal Hunt neighborhood. So what's the story here? Good to be here at the Heidelberg Project talking with Melody. And how long have you been here, Melody? Since 1962. 62? Yes. And I was just asking you about this neighborhood. There's a lot of green space here, pastures and so on. Yes. And you're telling me that wasn't always so. Tell me about no. that. It was a full full neighborhood. A full neighborhood. Yes. Yeah. Residents in every home. That's unbelievable. Exactly. And how long has it not been like, like, like that? Um, like this started like in 1967 when we had the, the riot here. The riots, yeah. And yeah. a lot of people end up leaving Detroit and right. just, just abandoned their homes. Exactly. Exactly. So, um, so. The 1960s was a tough decade for the United States as there were many uprising and demonstrations. Between 63 and 68, 265 American cities experienced 341 racially sparked protests, including 24 major uprisings. By nearly every measure, the Detroit disturbance was the most devastating and costly. It was a brutal time, especially in Detroit. Racial tension escalated as urban renewal and freeway projects destroyed black neighborhoods displacing African Americans. Detroit's population grew steadily, along with resentment over discrimination in housing, employment, and education. In 1967, heavy-handed police tactics finally sparked a violent reaction. Looting and arson destroyed several neighborhoods and shook the city to its core. In the riots in Harlem, Watts, Cleveland, Newark, Washington, and Detroit, Detroit by far had the worst statistics with 43 dead, 1189 injured, and 7,200 arrested. Like I say, it was a terrible time in Detroit. Many people left, especially people of white color. In this neighborhood at some point? Yeah, we grew up in that, that at Heidelberg Dottie Waddy house. Oh, is that right? Eh? Yes, wow. my family owned that house in 1947. So you saw all, all this happening? Yes. And you still have a smile on, on your face? Yes. Because life is great? Yes. <laughs> okay. as, as long as you have one, right? Right, right, right. Life <laughs> Thank is you. good. Thank you. Really appreciate talking Thank you. to you. Okay, bye. All right, take care now. As I said, I was extremely happy to get a few words out of Melody. She was very nice. At this point, I have to introduce the creator of the Heidelberg Project, Detroit artist Tyree Guyton. I wanted an interview, but he asked my people to reach out to his people, and since I didn't have any people, it never happened. It didn't help that on a YouTube scale, I was nothing. That further discouraged my people to reach out to his people, so the interview never happened. In fairness to Mr. Guyton, his screening process is well warranted since he is in demand from national and international media. He is the real thing. Guyton grew up on middle-class, thriving Heidelberg Street. At the age of 12, he witnessed the devastating effect on his neighborhood as a result of the Detroit riots of 1967. Upon his return from serving in the Army, he noted that his neighborhood looked like a bomb had gone off. Remember, he was an artist, so art was going to be part of this story. So in 1986, he started the Heidelberg Project, which was an attempt to reclaim an area that had become so run down and unsafe that people were afraid to walk through the area, even during broad daylight. 
Using paint, refuse from the neighborhood, and a small army of local kids, Tyree began transforming abandoned buildings into massive works of art, making the Heidelberg Project an outdoor art environment in a devastated part of eastern Detroit with a mission to improve the lives of people and neighborhoods through art. What would you expect from a great artist? Heidelberg Project is making a difference with an annual budget of $400,000 and an average of 50,000 visitors per year. The annual economic impact in Wayne County is about $3.4 million. It's also led to the creation of an estimated 40 jobs. burnt down here. Exactly. And when did that happen? Uh, 2013 and 14. 2013 and you 14. You got a foot go back the other way. Okay. Yeah. So. This is one of them. The OJ house? Yes. Wow, that, that was a beauty. Yes. Yeah, the house of soul. Oh, I like that. That one. Yeah. Yes. The, the war room. Gone too, eh? Yes. Gone. 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 Yes. Penny house. Gone. Yep. Clock house. Gone. Yes. My goodness. And last, the animal house. Yeah, the animal house, yeah. The numbers house across the streets there.
well as eccentric block of Heidelberg Street is associated with Detroit artist Tyree Guyton. This house is the exception because it used to be the house of Detroit artist Tim Burke. As you can see, he was making art here in this very house 28 years ago, Tim Burke. His gallery was called Detroit Industrial Gallery. The raw materials for his artwork came from some of Detroit's most famous industrial ruins. With the sale of this house, which now becomes part of the Heidelberg Project, we are ready for version three, an artist's cooperative, coming to you soon. If you've hung in to this point, congratulations, and thank you for viewing a thumbs up and hitting the alert button on the subscribe. And there's my email, travelswithlobo at gmail.com if you wish to get in contact with me. Have a great week. See you next Friday. And speaking of uh, next Friday, well, I really don't know what I'm going to do next Friday, so tune in and see what's up. I'm in the same boat as you are. <laughs>